Now let's talk about where these opportunities actually come from, the kinds of trends that we would see in the marketplace or in the environment, in the ecosystem, in your neighborhood, in your community, on the internet that you might want to try to take advantage of. That's where we talk about a little bit more in this discussion. The, the next module in this series is all about opportunities and where they come from and how you work with them. But for now, let's give us a little introduction. Essentially, there's a confluence of trends. Everything is always changing. One thing is you're growing up, you figure out somewhere along the line, yesterday is never like tomorrow. And today is sort of the transition between what was and what will be, and it's always going to be different. And it moves fast. Things change relatively quickly. Identifying how those changes create opportunities is what the truly great entrepreneurs are really all about. When you think about someone like Steve Jobs and his technical partner, Steve Wozniak, they saw these technologies and they saw computer products and they saw printers and operating systems and uh, microprocessors coming out and there were some, um, some popular mechanics ways of building your own PCs. They thought this was something that more people would want to have one shipped to their house that they could use and they built the Apple. Um, they saw an opportunity and they built it. The formation of Microsoft a similar kind of situation where they were building an operating system uh, that was, actually they were building a, a language basic language and they found out that IBM wanted a company with an operating system they went out and, and found the operating system finding the opportunity what is happening that creates these opportunities what sorts of changes create the chance for those of us who want to do something like entrepreneurship can take advantage of and there are essentially four that we talk about in the entrepreneurial field, and they're summarized here. Market changes, social changes, economic changes, and technology changes. They're also, they're, there's a little more behind them. Simplify them in this context so that you can see there is a little bit of a way to remember them, unless you're a Yankee fan, in which case you might not want to remember them as the Mets. But Mets is a way to think about it. Market, economic, technical and social. We'll talk about each of them for a little bit. Starting with social changes. Really we're talking about social and demographic changes. People age, we now have the aging baby boomers that creates opportunities for healthcare services, for assisted living, for any sorts of services that support retired community. The baby boomers are getting into that age group. The last of the baby boomers I think turned 50 or 55 recently. Uh, they'll be moving into that arena. If you're into that sort of thing, helping uh, helping the elderly people be more comfortable or have services or whatever, they'll be available. There's opportunities there. That's why you see commercials about people in later life meeting other people. I mean, these are opportunities that people see because of this demographic trend. But there are many others. There is a change in the composition of the U.S. Uh, population. It's moving from a white majority to a more pluralistic society over time. More Spanish speakers, Asian speakers over time. And that creates opportunities because people tend to live in communities that, are, that have, they have affinities with, so there becomes more Spanish speaking or uh, different Mandarin speaking communities in the US, and therefore there's opportunities for restaurants or stores that cater to those kinds of social demographics. The most important one to think about from your perspective as young people is your community of colleagues, your cohort and your the millennials in your uh, 20s, late teens, 20s, early 30s, moving into becoming the, the core of the workforce. There you have a certain way of living which is distinct and different than people that are older. That is, you're more integrated with social media, You've grown up with smartphones, you've grown up with gaming boxes, you've grown, you've grown up with, with iPads and the like. And that's a different way of interacting than other people have had. And that creates new opportunities, right? New ways that you could figure out how to build something that makes that kind of living more convenient or easier. Because that kind of living is a new trend, a social trend. 
as your, your generation aging into the workforce, there'll be certain kinds of needs that you'll have that other people have never thought of before because my generation did not have these technologies. Then there's economic changes, economic and political changes. That means when the market's up, when the market's down, when the economy's up, when the economy's down, um, when there's trade deficits, when different countries have different um, uh, relationships. If there is a problem in China, though, in terms of economics, or there's a problem in the relationship with the U.S. and China, that will create some opportunities for creating businesses. Things that were being imported might be imported less. Um, if there are uh, changes or there's a rise in, in the economy of Mexico, for example, it becomes really strong, then there's opportunities there as well. So economic situations changing creates opportunities as well. Whenever there is a, a downturn in the economy, there's a tend towards more unemployment, so there's more time for, you could start temporary worker operations and things like that, or training people in the new skills, training them in new technologies and the like to retrain them so they feel like they can get uh, jobs in the, in the growing fields that, that have, uh, have jobs available to them. So economic changes can do that. Also political changes. When the government decides to support certain things or not others, it can give opportunities. There's this pipeline kind of a, a, a development in the West. If that is approved, there's jobs around that. You can start businesses that are associated with that pipeline being built or with fracking, how those kinds of regulations play out also creates business opportunities for each, each of us. So for those that are available and able to take advantage of them. The most common that we're most used to probably is technology changes. We see those in our iPads, in our smartphones. We see them in the way uh, technology is you're downloading books and streaming and how television's different and you no longer have to wait for, the, for, the, for what's on the main networks. You got the cable and streaming of TV shows and uh, binging on TV shows, you know, watching an entire season of House of Cards over the weekend. Um, these are kind of new phenomena that create, perhaps, if you could think of them, new business opportunities. So those are, that's another one. We, I won't spend that much time. We'll spend a lot more on technologies at a later date but, um, and how those affect opportunities. But that's the most common one. And the last one to think about, and all of these are integrated with it a little bit, is market changes. There are situations where the market simply changes because of events that happen in the market itself. There are fads certain types of fashions that grow up because certain things happen. You have the Oscars or the Grammys, people wear certain things, women wear certain gowns, they have certain looks, certain kinds of makeup that they wear when they go through the red carpet. That creates a trend for those kinds of products and services to be sold. You can build a website, whatever, associated with those kinds of changes just in how people interact with one another in the markets that they want to support or serve. Super Bowl at uh, in a in, uh, giant stadium in, uh, in um, uh, New Jersey, whoever wins, you could sell a lot of equipment associated with that. Whoever happens to be in the game, if you have the equipment, you could sell um, different kinds of souvenirs and the like. Events that are occurring just sort of in the marketplace uh, creates various kinds of opportunities. Remember Lynn's Sanity? There was a lot of opportunities to build products during that period of time. Um, Hopefully that wasn't before, you still remember that. Um, so those are the kinds of things that create opportunities for us. When you think of an opportunity that you want to build a business around, you want to be thinking about it in terms of how does it fit into these demographics and technology and the political and economic environment. That way you can figure out if these trends stay the same, your business will prosper. If something changes, Maybe they'll still prosper. If there's a social change like the, the growth of your or the movement of your generation into the workforce, the core workforce, and the technology developing in certain, dire certain directions, you see two trends that converge, the confluence of these trends. Those are the kinds of opportunities that you can jump on and say, this is long term and it could be very big. This could be a big, big opportunity because multiple trends are moving in the same direction. And that way you can help evaluate what these trends might be for you going forward because of that possibility.